Now for the fun bit. Set your Teflon sheet out in front of you on a table or a hard surface and place your two millimeter plastic spacers or playing cards in stacks on either side of the Teflon sheet. You need to wash and dry your hands and lubricate them with a little tiny bit of olive oil or your pot of badger balm. You also need to apply a tiny bit of your badger balm or your olive oil to your acrylic roller because it'll stop it picking up the clay as you roll. Apply a very, very tiny amount of the badger balm or oil to your cutter so it's ready to be used. Always, always make sure you don't apply too much because it can end up spoiling the surface or the edges of your necklace, but do make sure you get right into any fiddly, difficult little corners. Now, you need to take your piece of PMC Flex from the packet and take it out and quickly massage it with your fingers into a smooth ball with no creases or folds that would appear in your fingerprint necklace spoiling the print. Once you're sure, you're sure you've got a smooth ball, place it down right in the centre of your Teflon sheet. Now you need to slowly roll out your piece of clay until it's completely flat and has a nice smooth surface. Always stay on top of the plastic spaces because it'll, it'll make sure that your piece of clay is exactly two millimetres deep all over. So we're going to carefully roll. And the reason you slowly and carefully roll is because you can see that the piece of clay rather wants to be picked up. Spin your Teflon sheet around and move your spacers. They don't have to be perfectly lined up. Again, carefully roll. Poke the clay down if it wants to come up, just on the edges. Now I can see already that there's a tiny, tiny little crack in that. So I might have to re-roll this if that crack looks like it's going to be a problem but at the moment it's all on one side and I think the fingerprint necklace will be completely away from it. Sometimes the cracks just disappear back into the clay, sometimes they can be a problem. Now you can see that little crack over there so I'm going to completely avoid that area. But the rest of it looks smooth and it looks flat and it looks good. So, pop the Teflon sheet back down there, move the acrylic spacers and the roller to one side. Now, if you're feeling brave or confident, or both, you can take your real life person and you can press their finger straight down onto your piece of rolled out clay. If you want to do that, you need to keep their finger completely flat and don't allow them to wiggle it or move it in any direction. They're not gonna pick up more of the print doing that. You need to keep the whole hand completely flat and then lift it straight back off of the clay in one single upwards movement so the fingerprint is not distorted. The most important thing there is to keep their hand and their finger still. Or if you want to have a little bit more time or less stress to work with your clay, we're gonna use the three dimensional fingerprint mould that we made earlier. All you have to do is simply very carefully place it gently onto the surface of the rolled out silver clay and then push it evenly a little bit way round. Okay so just place it there on top at first. Now if you bend down next to the fingerprint you're only pushing it down a little tiny way but you need to make sure it makes contact all the way around. Although you can't actually see the fingerprint at this point, you should be able to see if you've pushed it in enough to capture the whole of the fingerprint if all of the edges have made contact. Don't push it down too much or you're going to spoil the back of the necklace. Now you need to pick up the Teflon sheet and very gently flick the edge of the silver fing the fingerprint so that it falls off, hopefully, leaving a perfect fingerprint impression in your clay. So there we go. And it just falls off. Okay? And that's your perfect fingerprint impression. Now, if for whatever reason you're not happy with that fingerprint, if you can see that it hasn't made contact all the way around, or if it looks scruffy, or it doesn't look like it's come out very clearly, you have got time to quickly re-roll the clay into a ball. 
Make sure there's no creases or folds in the clay the same as before and start over. Remembering to reapply the Badger Balm to your hands if they feel dry or apply it to the acrylic roller if that looks like it hasn't got anything left on it either. Silver clay does by its nature dry out and it can become difficult to work with. So by all means experiment a little bit and have a few attempts, but you can't realistically work with that piece of clay for hours and hours without running into a ton of problems. Now you need to take your shaped sugar craft cutter and position it over the fingerprint until you're happy it's in exactly the right place. You just need to carefully position it, making sure that the fingerprint isn't near the edges of the necklace because in the next dry stage of the making process, we're gonna sand those edges back and you don't wanna be sanding off the edge of your fingerprint. Place it on top of the clay, but don't push it down until you're sure it's in exactly the right place. Don't push it down until you're completely ready. Okay, now push it down evenly once it all looks good. And now you're going to remove all the excess clay from around the outside of the cutter. Making sure you don't leave any behind because that would be terribly wasteful. Mm. Try and get as much of the excess as possible. Now re-roll your excess clay as quickly as you can into a ball and immediately wrap it up in your damp piece of kitchen tissue. You now need to take your little plastic bag or your piece of cling film and pop your silver clay into that. Roll the bag or the cling film. Make sure there's no air trapped in there. Seal it up and place it all back into the original packet it came in. Seal that up and then place that to one side for safekeeping. Now, if you get really, really lucky, sometimes the silver clay will stick to that Teflon sheet and you can lift that directly upwards in a single movement and it will stick to the Teflon sheet. But more often than not, it won't. So let's see what's going to happen. Grasp it evenly on both sides and no. OK, so if it picks up like this, which is fairly normal, all you do is put your finger carefully into the edge of the mould. Be very, very careful if you have sharp nails. You're aiming for the side of the fingerprint necklace that has no print on. And very, very gently ease it out flat. Very, very, very carefully, because it's very fragile, place it down onto your Teflon sheet.